Hey guys, I am Jared Davis and this is Galen Parker. We run the Davis Group at eXp Realty and this is another episode of Where to Live in Richmond. If you've watched some of our other videos, we've been doing the city. And now we're getting a little more rural. This is Midlothian, which is part of Chesterfield County. If you haven't already, we invite you to like and subscribe to our videos. Comment up, let us know what you think. Let us know what areas you'd like to see us do next. But in this video, we're gonna do a detailed walkthrough of Midlothian, Virginia, and give you a little bit of details as far as things to do, uh, parks, what neighborhoods to be on the lookout for. So Galen, where are we sitting right now? So right now we are at Robius Landing Park. And if you guys couldn't tell, there's a tiny body of water behind us. That is the James River. And that is what makes Chesterfield County so unique in that in this area, the river's accessible to pretty much everyone. So you've got parks here, there's people walking, there's walking their dogs, you'll see family picnics, cookouts, wonderful uh, attraction for you and yours. So great for tubing in the summer, good for fishing. You can boat through here. Uh, they have a boat drop for, for smaller things. I don't think you can put regular boats in here, but if you live in Midlothian, you're close enough to Watkins Landing, which is right up the road, so you can drop your boat in. Uh, going one way, you can go all the way up until it gets kind of shallow. Going the other way, it's actually gonna take you all the way down to a dam uh, before dropping into where you get some of the rapids and things like that where people whitewater raft. But uh, so if you are a river rat, if you like the water. Or the uh, outdoors. Or the outdoors, it's a nice place. And you've got trails running all through here. You've got some other park systems you can be on the look for. Things like uh, Pony Pastures, pretty close. It's right up the road. Uh, Pocahontas Park. A uh, great place, miles and miles of, of hiking trails, biking trails, uh, a reservoir down there to be able to kayak as well. Uh, so a lot of outdoors locations to check out here in Midlothian. So here we are at Tarrington, often known as Tarrington on the James. And so as we were just at Robius Landing Park, this is the closest neighborhood to it. And so it began construction in the early 2000s and had its conclusion in the mid 20s, so 2010 around that period. So one of the cool things, if you look at some of the architecture of Tarrington, it's going to be known for the amazing brick detail that you're gonna see pretty much everywhere unless you move in transition to some of the newer construction. Uh, Tarrington, I think at last count, had about 710 homes in this planned community. Uh, some of the hallmarks, it's gonna be easy walkability. They're gonna have sidewalks. Everything has a uniform look to it, but each house has a unique feature that was, this, that was chosen by the owner. Yeah, so as we're walking through here, you can see we're in kind of that starting section of Tarrington where the homes were very large, very brick. Uh, as you get into some of the new construction, you have a, a wide range of craftsman style homes from uh, bigger builders like Main Street and Ryan Homes for some of those uh, single level living or even maintenance free sides of things. But you also have a lot of custom builders as well. Uh, people like Perkinson Homes that are building your larger, more expensive, fully custom houses as well. So no matter what you're looking for, whether you want one level living, uh, whether you want a more traditional brick house, uh, or whether whether you want some new craftsman style houses, Tarrington has a little bit for everybody. So uh, definitely a neighborhood you'd want to check out if you're looking to be in the heart of Midlothian. One of the things that we've seen, and you've probably seen it everywhere, is that as the population is aging, a lot of the owners that are originally in Tarrington, they love the community, they love the proximity to some of the amenities and their friends, but they didn't want to handle some of the maintenance with some of these larger homes. So Tarrington recently has given birth to a lot of first floor suites and masters so that people can kind of move into the area, uh, but still have the functionality that they need. So now we're standing here in Westchester Commons. This is one of the big shopping areas in Midlothian. Uh, no grocery stores, but lots to do. Uh, you've got a lot of food and some entertainment. So you've got things like Sedona Tap House, you have the new Napa Kitchen and Wine Bar, 
uh, Palermo for Italian. Uh, you've got a taco joint right behind us, the Rusty Taco. So plenty to eat, and you also have a gold gym. So you've got your gym, and then Galen, what about any other shopping? So while there's not any shopping as far as grocery stores, you still have some of the big hot spots like Target as well. That's a big staple and an anchor here at Westchester. But as an addition to that, for arts and entertainment, you've got Westchester Cinema Stadium. And that is going to be huge uh, to get the family out, especially on the weekends, and see some of the newest releases and attractions on uh, the Chesterfield. Now, obviously, we've been focusing on houses here in Midlothian, but perhaps you're not there yet. You're not ready to put down the down payment for a house. Well, here in Westchester, we have now the view of Westchester. And so that's going to be new apartments, new condos, a great attraction for a lot of people. Has The backside has an awesome viewpoint that looks over 288 that a lot of people have been going over there. Definitely encourage you to check it out. So another thing you're going to see here is they do a number of festivals per year. I believe there's a wine festival. There's a big music festival. Again, plenty of shopping. You've got some doctor's offices here, books a million, Takara Ramen, Noodles and Company, Plaza Azteca for Spanish. And another thing that they've got going on is behind us, right now you can maybe see a line of trees behind Gold's Gym, but right now H.H. Hunt, which is a big builder in town, uh, they're actually gonna be developing hundreds of homes right here too. So I believe there's gonna be some townhouses and single family going in over the next year or two. So if you wanna even have walkability, even though Midlothian is more about uh, neighborhoods, suburbs, you can still actually have some walkability if you don't want to live in the apartments, if you do want to purchase something. So look out for that. If you want information, obviously reach out to us and we can give you the info in the neighborhood, the name, the time schedules, and all of that good stuff. So here we are in Halsley, our last stop of the day. This is one you should definitely check out. It's been in development for about the last 14 years. Uh, it used to be called Halsley at Roseland. Uh, it then went out of business. The developer was bought by a company called East West, and they have expanded this uh, to around 900 homes, the last I checked. Uh, you've got some smaller lots that we're sitting on now, uh, but you have some lots that are up to an acre. So you can actually get a little bit of space if you want a little bit of privacy. As you can look, we're walking down these beautiful houses now. These are custom homes. This is one of the best you're going to get if you're looking in Midlothian. Pricing is going to range from about 700000 up to around a million and a half dollars for a home in this neighborhood. And it is all custom builders. Uh, you've got people like Jones Custom Homes, Perkinson Homes, Homesmith, uh, a wide array of people that build in this neighborhood. So if you want any connections to those builders or any sit downs, uh, we're happy to help with that as well. We have good relationships with all of them. So guys, we've gone from Robius Landing all the way to Tarrington. Well, that was our first stop, uh, 710. That's one of the original, one of the OGs of planned communities. And now, fittingly enough, we've come to Halsey. So this is a planned community, but it's a little bit newer. And as you can see, a different price point as well as quality as custom built houses. But if you have any questions, if you're looking to buy, if you're looking to sell, if you just have interest in this area, feel free to reach out to us uh, as well as go into the bottom, please, link, add, subscribe. If you have any comments, you, there's a neighborhood that you want us to take a look at, or you just had a couple of questions about this, maybe some of the builders that we just mentioned, feel free to mention in the comments and we'll get right back to you. Uh, again, I'm Galen Parker. This is Jared Davis. We thank you for watching.